Hey folks, Doxy here. Got a, another video tutorial for you, explaining all the little things that you can do with my mob system. Now in this one I'm going to be showing you how to implement a lighting system. And just for an example, I'm showing you one of the mob systems that I built entirely in survival multiplayer. And everything you see here is actually legit. Over there you can see how there are one, two, three, four mob system, so there are actually four towers in the modular design. And the interesting thing about this particular version, let's see where am I? Over here. I'm allowed to cheat just a little bit for my videos. Um, I have a lighting system, so with the flip of a single switch, absolutely everything is lit up for every single floor. Here you can see I've, I've actually built it out of the uh, out of the terrain, so this is completely subterranean modular. Let's see. get out of here. Get out of here. Not ah, it. Okay. And here you can see the redstone working. I'm going to go ahead and turn off the switch. Actually, have the switch hidden behind some doors. Let's see. Oh, this is a complex player arena that I created uh, for PvP and PvM. The mobs will shoot out out of, out of those little areas here with the flips of various switches that I have. Um, let's get to the on-off switch. The on-off switch is very, very well hidden. Nobody will ever find this. Okay. Now, unfortunately, I can't show you the lights turn on and off because somebody's gone off and mess with my redstone so that you can't actually turn it off because this type of mob system has been outlawed unfortunately so not even this one is allowed to function but it looks very very pretty you can't can't say it doesn't and I'll show you how to do this in single player hey folks back in my single player world and I'm going to show you how to modify the basic design into a fully functional and fully toggleable spawn room. Now the first thing you're going to need to understand is that you're going to need to insert an extra space in between everything. Put it above the water level but below the spawn area so that there's actually a three high drop where there once was a two high drop. Now you want to take that level where you inserted the space and go ahead and fill that in with blocks all the way around the outside so that no light leaks in from the outside, still leaving a ledge around the entirety of the perimeter. Now I'm just going to remove the water just for the sake of simplicity and so you can hear me a little better, but you're still going to need the water in the final version. Now what you want to do is insert your redstone your uh, your redstone lamps and your redstone. And you're going to have to figure out what the proper spacing is. Just know that there needs to be a light level of at least 7 to keep mobs from spawning up here. And when you place your repeaters, um, the uh, power source is actually going to be over here. When you place your repeaters, as the uh, electrical current comes around this direction. It doesn't matter if you put them before the redstone lamp or after, just so long as there is a redstone repeater going in the right direction on either side of it. Now to turn everything on, you want to make a device pretty similar to this one, doesn't have to be this exactly where you have a redstone repeater going straight through the outside wall where the redstone is attached to probably a lever if you want to do some something fancier that you can go ahead and do that but I'm just using a lever for this now assuming you have the spacing correct for the redstone lamps nothing should be spawning up here now assuming that this is a complete mob tower that's completely dark most of the time and not exposed to sunlight like this one. Again, this is just for demonstration. 
Now to transport the same current, the same signal vertically, you want to use glowstone. And glowstone, I'm pretty sure, is the only block that has this unique characteristic where you're able to stagger them and make the flow go vertically. And you can just use the same setup here using a redstone repeater flowing into this block at, at whatever level that you have and uh, occasionally loop around a repeater so that the signal stays strong and you can turn an entire tower or series of towers because there were four of them in the example that I showed you all the way up to the top level and so with the single flip of a switch you can turn off or on your entire mob system. And with that, you're ready to move on to one of the more complex, even though that's fairly complex, one of the more complex parts of this tutorial series. Thanks for watching.